Hey there, how's it going today? It's August and why wouldn't I be in the rink? But uh, I'm taking a couple minutes out to you today to talk about aluminum wiring. We just had a big situation with a house of ours that had aluminum wiring, so it's a perfect topic for today's Two Minute Tuesday. So let's start the clock right here and here we go. So aluminum wiring, if you have a house that was built between probably 1960 and 1976, there is a good chance there's aluminum wiring in the house or there was at some point. Um, a lot of builders back in the day used aluminum wiring um, as a alternative to copper wiring because A, it was deemed to be just as safe, but a cheaper, more economical version of the copper wiring. Um, obviously, aluminum wiring is a little bit cheaper, so any developer that was putting it in was trying to save a little bit of money at the time. Now, today, it has become an insurance concern because when you're mixing copper wiring and aluminum wiring at the connections, you're mixing two dissimilar metals together, so they are heating up at a different rate. Um, so they're expanding and contracting at different rates, which do cause loose connections, which could really be a fire concern. So now we're running into, if your house has aluminum wiring, it's becoming an insurance concern um, when you're going to get insurance on your new house. So the question came up, what do we have to do? Because there's, they love the house, but there's aluminum wiring in the house. So there's a couple different options you can do. Um, the first one, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, is remove all of the aluminum wiring from the house. So that means going into the walls, going right back to the panel, running all new electrical throughout the entire house. Now, is that the most economical? Probably not, but it is the most safe and uh, insurable version to do it. So the other option that is available is we had an electrician come in through the entire house and what they're going to do is you have you can get special morettes that connect the two copper and aluminum wirings as well you can use a compound called penetrox which helps seal the two dissimilar metals and helps connect them better um, to eliminate the the heating and shrinking effect to it so it becomes a little bit safer so you're going to change all your connections and then you're also going to change um, the outlets and the receptacles. So you, you change those aluminum receptacles over to copper receptacles. So everything is, is the same metal when it's touching and stuff. So you, yes, the main wire is still gonna be electric or aluminum, but the connections at the panel and the connections at um, the receptacles and the, the light switches and the, everything is gonna be copper. So everything is gonna be contained into these separate units. Um, makes it a lot safer and it's insurable because the last thing you want is those connections to get loose and all of a sudden the spark flies and potentially it's a fire hazard at that point. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do if you're aware your house was built between 1960 and probably 1976 is have an electrical inspection done um, just so you know where things are at. Maybe have all those connections tightened up a little bit but um, it's definitely something to be aware of if you're in a neighborhood that was built in those in that era. Um, nothing wrong with it completely, but it is something now you do need to disclose when it comes to your property disclosure statement when you're selling. Um, and then the buyer is fully educated on what they need to do moving forward. So I highly recommend if you have questions about this, reach out to an electrician. I'm not an electrician or an expert, but uh, make sure you're reaching out to somebody that will have those answers for you. If this is the first time viewing this channel, make sure to subscribe and uh, mark that bell so you can get notified next Tuesday when we post a new video. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.